Hey guys, it's me, Hannah Payne here. And yes, this is another video on video. So, I'm sorry for the early absence today. And I promise I'll get to the third chapter. Get in the second chapter. Sorry about that. Mm. Ah, here we are. Chapter 2. Rapunzel stood in front of the Rapunzel stood in front of an art gallery. Chapter 2. Sorry about that. Rapunzel stood in front of an art gallery with her mouth hanging open. She couldn't believe the paintings hanging in the window. Each one was more colorful than the next. There were waterfalls, beach scenes, and majestic mountains, all in thick gold frames. Flynn put his hand under his chin gently, pushing his jaw closed. You don't want to get you don't want you don't want a fly to get caught in there, Blondie. Mm -hmm. Oh Rapunzel said I just love to look Oh, said Rapunzel. I just love to look at those paintings, she mentioned, for Max and Pascal to come over. Then she turned to Flynn. Let's go in, she said, grabbing, well, she said, grabbing hold of the door. Before Flynn could stop, before Flynn could answer, Rapunzel was inside the shop. The thief looked at Maximus. The horse narrowed his eyes. He wanted Flynn to know he shouldn't make a run for it. We'll be out soon, Flynn promised, smiling. Mac Maximus peered in. The large window will make a, the large window will make keeping an eye on Flynn and Rapunzel easy. He switched his tail and stood guard. Inside the shop, Rapunzel could tell. Inside the shop, Rapunzel could smell. Sorry. Fresh paint. An artist must. An artist must be at work. She said, slowly walking around the room. This art is wonderful. Hello, a voice said. May I help you? A short man with a bushy a short man with bushy black hair came out from behind a curtain. He was wearing a blue smock that was splattered with paint in one hand and he held a colorful palette and the other a paintbrush. Rapunzel turned around, her long, thick braid knocked down a painting. Luckily, Flynn was standing nearby and caught the canvas. Hello, Rapunzel said boldly, walking towards the painter. I am Rapunzel, and this, and this is my, uh, well, it's Flynn, it's Flynn Rider and my friend Pascal. We were just walking by and had to come and had to come in to see these paintings. Are you the artist? The short man, the short round man blushed. Oh, well, I'm, um, thank you, he stammered. I'm glad you, I'm glad that you came in. Are all of these paintings yours? Rapunzel asked again. Rapunzel asked. Her green eyes sparkled as she looked at the artwork. There must be hundreds. The man grinned. Actually, 
There are more in the back room. He pointed to the dark curtain. He pointed to the dark curtain behind them. And he reached a hand out to Rapunzel. My name is Roberto. So, I'm so happy to meet you, Rapunzel said, shaking his hand. I've never met another artist. Roberto laughed. Ah. So you are an artist as well, yes. And what about and what about you, Roberto asked Flynn. Oh, I'm not an artist, Flynn said, flushing. What he thought was an award-winning smile. I'll be in the model. He peered into a mirror hanging on the wall and checked his hair. I'm known for my good looks. He struck a pose with his hand on his hips. And his chest puffs out. You are? Asked Rapun- Rapunzel. Asked. Flynn. S- Flynn. Swuck back his brown hair. He ignored Rapunzel's comment. Thought no one seems to get my nose quite white.、Right. He mumbled disappointedly. Pascal jumped. Pascal jumped to Flynn's shoulder and flashed a big grin. If Rapunzel was going to paint anyone, it should be him. Rapunzel did not notice Pascal posing. She was too distracted by the back wall of Rapunzel's shop. Lawns and shelves were piled high with supplies. Two large wooden boxes were filled to the brim with brushes. Rapunzel peered into the box and picked up a fan-shaped brush. You're lucky to have so many paints. You're lucky to have so many paints and brushes, Rapunzel said in awe. Oh, I've never seen so many. Yes, I do have a lot. Roberto confessed. It was my dream to run an art school. He wiped his forehead nervously, but I didn't get any students. So now I just try to sell my own work. An art school? Rapunzel asked. She tilted her head. She had never heard such a thing. Yes, you know. So Roberto said, "So I can teach students about art and painting." Wow! Rapunzel squealed. Her green eyes grew wide. I never dreamed there was someone who could teach me how who could teach me to be a better painter. Pascal plopped down on Blen's shoulder. This was going to be a longer stop than he, than, than he had thought. Rapunzel definitely had a, had a plan brewing. Oh, are you a self-taught artist? Rapunzel exclaimed happily. Well, she didn't get out much before she met me. Flynn sat down in the chair. He grinned at Rapunzel. Well, I still managed to capture you with only my bare hands, and seventy feet of hair in a frying pan to my gourd. Flynn retorted. Rapunzel rolled her eyes. She turned to Roberto. Please, I don't have much time today, but I love to have a lesson. Roberto scooted around. Roberto scooted around. And, oh, this is wonderful! I would love to give you a free lesson. He started grabbing tubes of paint and brushes. Brushes. 
sorry. Clapping her hands together, Rapunzel gasped. Really? Oh, how extraordinary! Flynn! Pascal! Did you hear? I'm going to have a real art lesson! Flynn! Pascal! Did you hear? I'm going to have a real art lesson! I heard, Flynn said. And are you going to paint me? He gave her a wide, toothy smile. Maybe, Rapunzel said mysteriously. Isn't this exciting? Isn't this exciting? Rapunzel said to Pascal. Getting paint tips from a real, getting getting paint tips from a real painter like Roberto is going to be fantastic. Let me get some canvases. Roberto told her, "I've never had such an interesting student here." Before, a student before, sorry, and in a flash, he had disappeared behind the curtain. Rapunzel faced Flynn. I knew this place was special. Thank you for bringing, thank you for bringing here today. Flynn smiled and nodded. He was ready to take full credit for this stop, especially since. It was making Rapunzel so happy to him. She was a mystery as big and as that thick braid on her head. Luckily, the day was turning out better than he expected. Well, this is it. This is the chapter of this book, and I hope I'll see you next time.